Today in our 2014 Ford Taurus, we will be installing the draw tight max frame trailer hitch, part number 75670. They can give you some measurements to help you choose accessories, like cargo carriers or bike racks. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground is about 12 and a quarter inches, and from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is about six and three quarter inches. First step to installing our hitch is removing the supports for the rear bumper cover. We need to go back to the brackets off the rear bumper structure and enlarge the two holes on the bottom that are nearest to the center of the bumper. Now we'll want to support the rear of the exhaust because we need to get ready to remove this. So we'll take a strap, find a solid mounting location on the car behind this rear mount. Let's pull that kind of tight to support the exhaust when we drop it. We'll take some spray lubricant and spray down the exhaust hangers. This will help in the removal of the rubber hanger. This is the hardware we'll be using. We have a half inch carriage bolt, half inch hex nut, our block, and a conical tooth washer. When we go to mount the washer and the hex nut, we wanna make sure that the teeth on the washer are facing upwards towards the hitch. We'll take our bolt guide and feed it through the hole on the frame right here. And we'll fish it out through this access point. With the bolt guide routed, we'll take our spacer block and then thread our carriage bolt into the bolt guide. We'll then feed our block into the frame, followed by the carriage bolt. To install the bolt on the other side, you'll need to go ahead and remove the exhaust hanger bracket. Just like on the driver's side, we'll feed the bolt guide through the frame and out towards the back hole. We'll then feed our block into the frame Now we're ready to put the hitch up in place. This is when it helps to have another set of hands around to lift it up onto the car. This is the hardware we'll be using for the rearmost mounting points on our hitch. We have a half inch hex bolt, a T-handle nut, and another conical tooth washer. But just like the other washers, we wanna make sure the teeth are facing upwards towards the hitch. Take the bolt, put the washer on there, feed the T-handle nut in over top of it, and just get it hand tight. Then we'll repeat that process over on the driver's side. Now with the hardware in place, We'll snug the bolts down. And then torque them to the amount recommended in the instructions. With the hitch tightened down to the vehicle and torqued to the correct specs, We'll now place the exhaust hanger back on the vehicle and tighten it down. We can now put the exhaust back in the hangers. Spray the hangers down with a little bit of spray lubricant again.
with the exhaust secured, we can now remove the safety strap on the exhaust system. We'll finish up underneath the car by resecuring those tabs we removed from the bumper. And that concludes today's installation of the draw tight max frame trailer hitch, part number 75670 on our 2014 Ford Taurus.